So the question is, how many BTUs are required to raise one pound of ice at 20 degrees Fahrenheit to steam at 20, 220 degrees Fahrenheit? So let's draw the chart here and plug this in. So we have ice here and we have fusion here. And we have water here. We have vapor here. And then we have steam here. So ice, the specific heat of ice is point five zero four BTU specific heat of water is one BTU specific heat of fusion is one hundred and forty four BTU vapor is nine hundred and seventy BTU steam is point four eight B T U. So what we have here we have the temperature of 20 degrees Fahrenheit and then we have here 32 degrees Fahrenheit we got here 32 degrees Fahrenheit we have here 212 degrees Fahrenheit and then here 212 degrees Fahrenheit we have here 220 degrees Fahrenheit, here 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's solve this problem. Now, I'm probably going to need this part, so I'm going to erase the question here and try to solve these problems. So if it is specific heat, first we go on from ice. So fusion, ice fusion, we are going to do specific heat, which is going to be pound times delta T times specific heat equals BTU. So the pound is one pound, that's what we have, multiplied by Delta T of 32 and 20 is 32 minus 20, which is 12. So multiply by 12. Multiply by specific heat of ice, which is 0.504. So 1 times 12 times 0 0.504. Let's get a calculator here. So it's... 1 times 12 is 12 times 0 0.504, 6.048. So the answer is 6.048 BTUs. So we're going to put here 6.048 BTUs. Okay. So we, 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 we are done, we're done with the first step here, which is the ice part. This part is done. Let's go to the fusion. Fusion, now we are going 144 BTU. That's what gives you the fusion. So if it is 144 BTU, we go on the latent heat. Latent heat, that will be pound. Multiply by latent heat, which is equals one pound times latent heat of fusion is 144, which is equals 144 BTUs. So we're going to bring that here 144 BTUs. So now the fusion part is done. So let's go to the next one, which is going to be 
the water and vapor. So we have the next one is specific heat, which is going to be pound multiplied by delta T times specific heat equals BTU. So the delta T, the pound is 1 multiply by the delta T will be 212 minus 32, which is 180. So 1 times 180 specific heat of water right here. That's where we are. We do a specific heat of water, which is multiplied by 1 BTU. So which is equals as 1 times 180 times 1 equals 180. So we're going to put that here. 180 BTUs. Now that part is done. So we are going... So, the vapor, in order to move from water to vapor, you're going to have to add 970 BTUs. So, that will be latent heat. So, it will be pound times latent heat. The pound is 1 times latent heat. And then uh, we go to the vapor, which is 970 vaporization. So times 970, which is 970. So we are going to put here 970 BTUs. use. So that's done. Now, we are going to go to the steam. We're going to go to the steam. So we have one pound, which is one pound times pound times little heat specific uh, pound times delta T times specific heat which is one times delta t of 220 minus 212 is 8 zero 8 so we have that so one times 8 times specific heat of um, steam is 0.48 so now let's use our calculator again. Is eight times 0 0.48, 3.84. So this is 3.84 BTU. So pretty much we just did this, and we did this. Now let's add all these BTUs and see what we got. So 3.84 plus 970 plus Nine seventy plus one eighty plus one forty four plus six point zero four eight plus three point eight four thirteen oh three eighty eight. So the answer is thirteen zero. 3.88 which you can round up to 13.04 BTUs so we need 1,304 BTUs to raise one pound of ice from 20 degrees Fahrenheit to steam 
at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if we are talking about um, the, the amount of heat, the types of heat human body can produce, we're talking about really four types, but for the exams, we're talking about the conduction, convection, and radiation. So pretty much all of the above, if you see stuff like that, that would be the right answer. And if we discuss earlier, I can give you some more, which is going to be uh, very more educational for you.